Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing One Piece episodes 399 and 400. Uh, last time we got to see the three captains kind of fight it out uh, against the Navy that's really attacking here. And uh, it's been kind of it's kind of crazy because we saw some some very crazy abilities that I still can't really figure out like some of the stuff they were doing was insane and i'm actually excited hopefully that we'll eventually kind of figure out these powers but uh they are i mean compared to luffy these guys are extremely strong they're captains for a reason and uh it was just kind of nice to see those abilities uh, but anyway if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell you can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash ajrich123 and let's go ahead and start these small fry navy guys just have no chance that helmet is not going to protect it's not going to protect them from those guys <laughs> It's laughable that you can think you think you can capture them. Oh, are these the guys? Oh, those are the guys that are inside. Though there's still a ton of people inside, so they're not. People aren't unprotected. <laughs> He's just playing with his head. Here, have it back. How is it still alive? You can still feel your body as a head. Oh, what the hell? Still being detached from your body and still feeling the pain. Area of effect type of attack. Oh, Jesus. They're all like buggy. Except they have no control over it. Oh, shit. And Luffy's going third gear immediately. No one's holding back. Was not expecting Luffy to go full all in immediately like this. Uh, buy weapons. That effect is going all the way inside. What's the range on that thing? That's not dangerous. <laughs> there could be casualties just from the weapons flying. What are they making? A weapons mass? Like a weapons monster? What the fuck? <laughs> Now you're all mutants. Have fun. This is just sick. Beyond reliable. Scary is more like it. Yeah, that's the disadvantage. Chibi Luffy, the return. That is a shit ton of strong people all in one place. At least these guys haven't lost their heads. Literally. They're just going in there and say, hey, shoot and strike like crazy. So it's like a, a temporary truce while they fight these guys. You can tell by those powers, these are two guys you don't want to piss off. Oh, so he liked that he said that. This is, I feel like this is such a easy fight for them. Like, the Navy has no chance here. At least with the people they have. But the longer they wait here, the worse it could get. God damn! The animal can kick some ass. Hmm. Yeah, you, like I said before, don't take your time here. That is the worst thing you can do in a situation like this. <laughs> they have became so loyal. <laughs> no, nobody ever says that. <laughs> They're like your best friends now. 
Sanji, you have acquired... <laughs> You've acquired some interesting friends. Uh, double-edged sword. That's a skill he has, talking himself out of a situation. He's worried about ruining his face now. <laughs> but when he has his face like that, it feels like the face itself wants to go back to how it used to look. It's like fighting with itself. God damn. That's the thing, they're not very strong on their own, but there's just so many of these Navy soldiers. They're like, I swear they're like stormtroopers. How do they never hit? He freed him. Does he want him in his group or something? Oh, he knew of him. Okay. Maybe by reputation. I wonder how long he's been stuck under the Celestial Dragons. Well, he got a strong person in his group. A former captain. They're barely moving and the shots are just... <laughs> you gotta avoid them as well. Oh! Okay, that didn't miss. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, he's back! It's Kuma! <laughs> that's a, hey, that's a good question, but I it's hard. Anything's possible in One Piece, so I it just I'm not surprised anymore by a talking bear. What the hell, Luffy? Priorities, man. Yeah, let's go ride some rides! While well, the Navy's probably just sitting there, waiting for you. If the Navy was smart, like, you would bait Luffy with meats and rides and cotton candy and stuff. You could probably get him that way. If you did it well enough. Yeah, we already know how big of a threat this guy is, but he didn't run into. He's running into them instead of Luffy and them. Oh, shit. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. This is why I said the longer. Like the longer you sit, the more you're you're gonna run into stronger people. How do you get away from that? It looked like his body just disappeared or something. Holy crap! Um, I was definitely not expecting to see Kuma like immediately like this. Uh, we already know how strong he is. If he runs into uh, Zoro and Luffy and them, uh, they're going to be in major trouble. We don't want a, because, you know, we got really, they got really, really lucky with how everything kind of worked out before. Um, but this is going to, this is a whole different story. And I said, I kept saying, the longer you stay here, the strong, we already know, we already knew that they were going to send people. So it was going to get worse and worse the longer you stayed. And now they're in, uh, at least these guys are in a, some deep shit. Um, but yeah. Oh my god. I don't feel really sad about that. The the knockoff, ripoff, Robin Hood. <laughs> You've made friends for life. What a nice guy. They were doing bad stuff before. <laughs> now they're cool. Shaky's ripoff bar. That's just so fun. That, I mean, that's just so hilarious to me. I... 
That's, yeah, that would be a little surprising for him. Probably make him more excited. And she didn't, hey, she didn't tell him though. That's why I'm surprised by that as well. Are we going to get some backstory of something that would be... Like, I've been interested in since, what, the beginning of the freaking show? Knowing more about... He turned himself in? He had to have his reasons, but that is surprising. Oh, was he gonna die already? I'm gonna take I'm just gonna take a wild guess. Was it he was gonna die anyway? Uh so he decides to uh you know give himself up in but with the stipulation that his crew, uh, everybody in his crew doesn't get killed and he's executed, but everybody else gets out okay because he was going to die anyway. That's my guess, because that, that sounds like something a captain would do. Really? Holy shit. I... I so Crocus, the guy that was with like, okay, that all these people they're meeting have connections with ever Jesus Christ, One Piece. So the guy that's uh, that was watching Laboon was a doctor and part of, and the guy that could cure him possibly, and that was the guy that was part of like, I guess he was part of their crew at one point. What the fuck? What the fuck? Like how many how many more connections are there? Laboon was our, like, we've already got, we already had, like, the, the freaking, the Laboon, uh, crazy, the crazy thing, and now we have the connection with that. How many characters, do I just need to expect every character we've met so far is going to have some connection to the overall main story that we just haven't found out? I, should I just expect this from this point? Because this has became extremely commonplace. <laughs> Yeah, and of course he would know him, yeah. And of course it would be that ship. Motherfucking connections. <laughs> connection to the connection to the connection. Well, everybody has a reason to go back there now. That's a real captain. So there could be a shit ton more. Uh, man, he really did think ahead. Mad respect for him. I mean, it that event obviously impacted so many people. What? What? What the fuck? But everyone saw him die. Is he meaning, like, I'm not gonna die because people are going to take, like, my... Because every, like, my will will live with everybody else? Or does he mean this... This is One Piece. Does he mean this in a literal sense? Like, I... If this show wasn't One Piece, I wouldn't even probably think of this possibility, but there, like, there's so many things. It, but it could it could be something as simple as uh, my will is going to live with everybody else, and that's how I'll live. But it could really be anything. Either way, holy fuck. 
Like that that's a that's a the shit that's a crazy last words. Which yeah, which drove so many people's lives into a direct into a certain direction here. That's to be expected. The way he talks about him is to be expected by your vice captain. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. I love that we're like something. I've, I've really wanted to know more information about that. He did. That's a that's what it like that's that's what it seems like there's so many people that was impacted by that buggy <laughs> i like how they're instantly <laughs> angry it's really true these guys know a lot of information and i feel like shanks and a lot of people they've met could have said all this stuff that we're learning later now but maybe it just wasn't the right time to say that stuff. I mean, the old guy could have said he was had been part of the, uh, you know, of the Roger Pirates before. There's a bunch of things that could have been said, but was never said. If it'd be somebody that would know stuff like that, it would be him, right? Oh shit! The information she wants, he has it! Holy shit. Let me guess, I can't tell you that information right now. Would you not be able to, like, understand it? Holy shit. Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. So it's like, hey, do you <laughs> it's like a game. Do you want to know all the information now? Do you want to use cheat codes and let me tell you everything about the world right now? But you're probably not going to be able to digest it right, and you're probably not going to come to the same conclusion or figure it out correctly. Uh, then just learning it and playing the game all the way yourself. Instead, I want to go and look up on Google and get my hacks. That's what this feels like right now. You literally have a literal physical cheat code right in front of you. Do you want to use it? Yes or no? You got a 30 second timer. I, I feel like she's going to say no. That's the most obvious thing, especially now she's found everybody, but the option though, that's insane. <laughs> Huh? The voice of the universe? He was listening to some wind or something? I don't think he doesn't want to know. He wants to figure this stuff out himself. Luffy is like that. Exactly. Well fucking said. Luffy doesn't yell like that very often to the to where he looks like a captain. Serious as shit. It doesn't happen very often, but I love how he's saying all this stuff with a smile, like knowing he can do it. You can see that belief in Luffy. Look, like you can just see it. He believes in all these guys. That's a that's an interesting way. That is a very interesting way to to look at it. He looks pleased though by what he said. Oh man, my heart's beating here. 
Holy shit. Holy. What the f? Those are fucking huge! Think of if you saw somebody in real life say, I'm gonna go draw something, and they got this huge ass fucking pen and <laughs> fucking brush in their back. I want one of those. Yeah, see, that's the issue too, though. They're gonna have to be really, like, really discreet and kind of hide to some extent. Just don't put yourself in plain sight. Oh, yay! Just in time to ruin the day. What an episode. What a freaking episode. So much, like, not only did we get information uh, about something that we've been wanting forever, we got more connections. We had a person connected to a person connected to a person three pieces of information connected with each other spread within 300 and uh, well we're almost on 400 four or was that 400 400 episodes uh, of it and we get this complete connection with it but i was not expecting the like the vice captain that was like a cheat code uh, he he literally said hey i'll give you all your answers right now it's right here for you uh, like something Robin has been looking for forever, obviously. And it wasn't just that. It wasn't just like Robin's information. Just like we, as we saw Luffy screaming about, he could have learned about, obviously learned about the One Piece. He could have learned everything because he knew all the information. But it's such a, it wouldn't, man. I I think anything but how they, how they acted, Robin, Luffy, how they reacted would have felt it, like, it would have felt like it was fiction to me, like completely. It would have felt like, it, it, no, it would have felt like it wasn't canon if they ended up just like asking for it there. That would have been like somebody was like, I'm going inside this. That's like somebody's like taking control. It's like becomes a game and you're just taking control and then you choose because you got the two options. You're not supposed to be able to click the, the at, take all the answers now. I feel like if you did that in a game, it would like be the bad ending or something. Like you actually decided to take, it's like <laughs> you actually decided to take the easy way out. It feels like the end of like a persona game where you take the the bad, you take the wrong thing. You want to take, you want to take the easy way out. You want to take the, the greedy, the greedy answer. Okay, game over. Like that's what it felt like. So it's very, it may, man, it made me pumped. First of all, seeing Robin deny it, but also, even though Usopp was obvious, you can tell Usopp everybody wasn't going to take something like that, but it was nice to see Luffy kind of, we see him obviously scream. We see him get angry and stuff, but that was like the way he talked to Usopp there was 1000% full on captain mode. Like I, I, we don't see it a lot like that to that degree. And I, that, I don't know if anyone else felt like that, but that felt amazing to see it, like to see how Luffy has so like grown so much. Like I, I loved seeing that and him just straight up. There's no point in doing that. He wants that. He wants a fun adventure. He wants him to, he wants to be able to do figure it out himself. What was the point of doing all this? They've been doing this the whole time in the dark like this without information, like uh, without information at all. They've been doing all of this. They could have gotten like, that's what I keep saying. Like, they're like the people they've ran into could have told them this information at one point or another, and it just hasn't happened. And because of that, L Luffy and them have been able to kind of go through this adventure without, uh, without any, like everything fun and, and adventurous. It's a freaking adventure. Use cheat codes. Everything's easy. You use cheat codes on a game. Everything like suddenly it becomes kind of boring a little bit. And then it's like, what was the point of me buying this? Like I just freaking skipped through the entire game. I'm level 100 max on everything. And I've literally, that just killed the joy. That's like the same thing here. Like you just kill, you like, you killed the joy of it. 
Yeah, don't don't ruin the adventure by getting everything right in the beginning. Enjoy your life. Enjoy the adventure. I I don't know. I just love seeing that. Great episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button. Hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash hrich123. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.